What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to show you guys the best way to damage grind now. Basically, with uh, all the new tools added, you're going to basically be doing the same thing you were doing before. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, let's see who I need to damage grind to show you guys what I mean. Um, I think Arthur would be a good pick, right? Yeah, let's go Arthur. So basically, you're going to want to put Drowning vulnerable despair and that order you're going to want all three and then you're going to want of course your money unit probably idle idle would condense these two rolls so then you can run dennis and idle to get it up faster or you could run it like this so one of what i'm going to do is what is arthur's name i, I literally already forgot uh but he's on bright burning so this will be easier to sort out like this so let's go ahead holy knight almer we're gonna go here we're gonna put holy knight almer as the lead and he's going to lead himself for 90 percent but i can see that he's on savior of the earth which means i can go here put him here and then come back here clear these passives and put dr stone as lead because dr stone leads savior of the earth so i can see dr stone has a better lead so i'll just do that so let's go ahead and see what our damage is right now before i get into this let me uh, go to holy night holy shit um night yeah so let's see he has 20 billion damage right now and i need to evo him i need approximately 20 or 80 billion damage so let's see how much damage we get let's go ahead i need about 60 billion damage and what is he he is uh water i believe that is so we're going to check the type chart next since we see that he's water we're going to check this water beat fire so now we're going to go and we're going to do a red we're going to go do a fire uh orb stage with all these tools we have we're going to go here we're going to put on normal little baby mode because we don't care about getting red orbs we just want to run the stage very important here we don't care about red orbs just want to run the stage um running the stage won't take too too long and to start out we're going to keep it off auto skip uh we're going to just keep it nice and simple to begin with we're going to do this and we're going to ready up and we're going to chill here um we're going to put down a noel because she's going to do decent damage off rip but she'll be able to handle the flyers which is kind of important here and then we're going to put down a uh, not arthur we're gonna put down arcwood arcwood will also help us out a lot so now we're going to start working on getting our money up and going from there so yep arcwood has a really really fat attack stat so yeah you just put her down and she just she just bop stuff for a bit uh but you can see what drowning does the reason we're running drowning is it makes them take 20 percent more damage sleep makes them 20 take 20 percent more damage vulnerable makes them take more damage despair makes them take more damage so at the end of the day they're just taking a bunch of damage extra so we're going to use that to kind of amp up the amount of damage that they can take slow and vulnerable also um are not slow and vulnerable uh, vulnerable and drowning also increase the effect of slows so you're able to really increase our crank how effective slows are in that regard so that's pretty nice uh so yeah now we're just kind of chilling we're going to upgrade noel here to a line soon enough and we're going to also focus on getting arthur up and running as well and whenever you set up your units you're going to actually make your main person who you're farming damage with focus on last it's really really important that you do that uh because it allows you to go ahead and do funny stuff so let's go ahead let's get her to line already that way we don't have to worry about these airs that are sneaking through so let's put it to last there we go and now let's go back to this oh, i have auto skip on Eh, whatever i was gonna go with auto skip off but whatever this works too uh you just want to get your mo once the money's up and running you're fine yeah, my, my money's already up and running, so I'm doing pretty good for myself. I'm having me a grand old time, and now we're just going to max upgrade this, and we're going to go back to our inventions. We don't need this, but it bothers me not having everything bought, so we're just going to get it anyways. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab this. We're going to wait for the next tick. 
make sure we grab all of our buffers you could run more buffers like i could have ran leader but I'm, I'm gonna be real i like the amount of debuffs that i get out of all this and not to mention Karumi and Arquid also let you survive the stage longer because they have methods to do that. So let's do this. I'm trying to remember, does he turn into, okay, so it's just a big circle AOE. So now we're gonna do this, this. His, I forget how low his attack stat is, or was, I should say. Uh, now we're going to set it to last, set it to last, attack plus 10%. And we don't even want to set it to last, actually. You want to set the strongest. Because then he's going to get, like, the strongest horde of them all. And hit them all at once with uh, blue flames, which is going to allow you to just do a ton of damage. 100 million total damage. That'll be easy. So now they're all maxed out. So now we're going to go here. We're going to have you set the strongest to match them. And then solo act buff them. And then we're gonna have another one here. We're gonna set you to last, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, solo act, buff, cool. And then we're gonna have another one here. We're gonna have you target first. We're just getting all these up before we start working on our Arquids and all that stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do the same with Noelle's now because she's very easy to place. We're gonna do another Noelle here and then another Noelle here. This Noel targets, this one targets, yeah, these two will both target first. This one's target's strongest. And we max you out all the way. And we're gonna max you out all the way. And max you out all the way. All right, cool. So now we have all of them maxed out. Now the next one are the big pieces of puzzle. We wanna max out Kurumi next for the despair, the full AOE despair, so it's gonna be really nice to have. Uh, so we do want to be able to get that up and running. And the whole goal is to just basically get maxed out before they're so tanky that it matters. So you just want to keep maxing everything. And once Karumi's maxed here, uh, you can see how cheap my Karumi is. It's why I like having Golden on her. I rolled Golden and I was like, eh, minus 10% cost? That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. So yeah, um, I do like having a very cheap Karumi because she's such a universal support. She's so good everywhere that... Taking 10% off her total cost, it's just, it's just nice. So, we're going to do this. Increase the attack even more. And then we're going to... Bada bing, bada boom. Pick this. Then we're going to go here. Uh, was that the right one? That was not the right one. This was the right one. Alright, so, I always forget like which is which. So, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and do Dalit. And I think that's it for now. Now we're just going to start working on Arquid, who's going to be our nuke. She's our nuke. She uh, does vulnerable. She does everything. So basically, she provides drowning. She provides vulnerable. She provides despair. She's our time stop. She has a time stop, a rewind, and she also gives a revive. She's our nuke, so we can survive longer. Uh, just Yeah, it's a whole synergistic thing going on here. So now we just wait to get our Marble Phantasm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And now we just chill. This is basically it. We got about like, I'd probably say like 20, 30 more waves to just kind of hang out and just see how much damage Arthur really starts racking up. Arthur's at 26 mil a piece roughly, yeah. So we want to kind of just chill and try to just enable him to get as much damage as possible by just buying time and Arthur is going to be able to do a ton of damage because he's doing two times damage due to the elemental damage bonus and then that damage is getting further amplified by vulnerable despair and drowning um vulnerable doesn't stack with despair but it's going to override so it's really just vulnerable and drowning and despair is there for the slow that's kind of like all that's really happening right is you have vulnerable and drowning stacking and then sleep on top of it so vulnerable is increasing damage taken by 50 percent and buffing the slow by 20 percent drowning's buffing that slow by another 20 percent and increasing that damage taken by 20 percent so you have 70 percent damage taken and then sleep is also adding an independent multiplier of any time they're affected by sleep they take 20 percent more damage and that's coming from butterfly guard so at the end of the day, they are taking around like 90% more damage, I believe, something like that. 
uh, a lot more damage basically they you're yeah they're taking a lot more damage so you're almost doing like quadruple damage to them because you get two times damage natively due to being elemental bent our bonus so this is a really good way to just kind of like grind your damage very 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 quickly so yeah this is basically it um you want to try to pick the best leader but if one of these units doesn't lead the unit that you have like just put that unit that you're grinding as its own lead you'll lose a little bit of attack but it doesn't matter not whenever you're running a setup like this so now that we got this going we're going to go ahead and pick that let him buff up let him buff up buff up and buff up and there we go and now he's got some actual attack stat he's gonna be able to start really grinding away some damage and we will be good to go oh he turns into a line too i didn't even know that so yeah line aoe target strongest base oh, i don't even get you targeting strongest they all need to target strongest so you can see now they're actually starting to survive getting out of the spawn a little bit and because of that you're going to see this damage just go through the roof soon um but i don't know if it's going to go 60 build through the roof we will find out because like i said we got about like 10 more waves realistically speaking of uh, being able to do whatever we want so it's just a matter of waiting to see and whenever they do finally push to the end we do have a nuclear bomb here and arcwid and then we also have this we also have Kurumi. Kurumi is going to be able to do uh, you'd bet and uh, buy us time. Yeah, no, we got a lot of ways to survive. Um, basically, just squeezing out every last little drop of damage that we can. That way, we have to do very few runs in comparison to what we normally would have to do. So, I'm just really curious to see um, exactly how good this goes. But yeah, this is how I damage farm. Everybody's been asking me, hey, Valk, how do you damage farm? What's the, what's the guide? A lot of these, like, you don't need my units, you don't need my team one for one. You just need to copy the passives, basically, on these three units specifically. Drowning, Vulnerable, Despair. Um, copy those three passives very specifically, uh, but you really should get Arquid, you really should get Nightmare, and you really should get a Drowning unit. It doesn't have to be Noel, but any Drowning unit will do. I believe they made Halibel Drowning as well. Which, if I remember right, she's a big fat line too for it also so yeah um all these units are just really 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 good for farming damage and grinding up damage increasing damage amplification uh butterfly guard is uh, no longer available you can no longer get butterfly guard he is a battle pass unit so you have to go get a battle pass token if you do want him as well as dr stone he is a, an abyss unit so everybody's going to ask me about that Dr. Stone's not in the Abyss shop yet, so I highly recommend grinding to Abyss 75, getting the Abyss token, and then waiting. Waiting for him to be added to the Abyss shop so you can get him whenever he is there. So yeah, uh, Dr. Stone's really, 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 really busted. He kind of just does everything. Uh, you guys can see they're at about 10 bill apiece now. 1, 2, 3. So we're at 40 bill, so we only need like 20 bill more damage. Uh, which we'll probably get so in one run we're probably going to complete the full damage grinding requirement and this is why i never have to grind a lot of damage because i almost always am already done almost always so yeah you guys can see how much damage she's done uh we're kind of just going to wait till we trigger kurumi's revive before we even look at this uh but i can go ahead and do yud alif yeah i can pop this make them disappear and that way these enemies all stack up just a little bit better so now we're going to do this they're going to pop back in and we're about to die oh no quickly heal myself some all right so we're about to pass on from this existence just too much enemy bloop and now we go right back to square one so now that that's happened uh we have now we can start looking at Arquid's nuke, and Arquid's nuke is going to do something really, really funny. You can see they're at almost 30 billion apiece, by the way. Arquid's nuke is going to do something really funny. It's going to buff up his damage even more. So not only am I going to get to nuke the field with Arquid, but I'm also going to get to um, basically uh, grind even more damage using 
Arthur. Alright, so we have our Marble Phantasm that we pop right now. And kaboom, go to field. So now Arthur's damage should be getting buffed by Arquid as well. But the range is getting buffed. Damage is probably getting buffed, but I just don't see it. Um, next up we have You'd Bet, which will allow us, once we get too much enemy, to rewind them all back to the beginning. That's going to be really, really dope. So yeah, uh, this is what I was talking about, that you just have all these abilities and these characters to just buy so much time. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this now. And you guys can see they're at about 4... I only needed 60 bill. They're at about 40 bill a piece. Um, so we are doing the most of the damage grinding. We are grinding the hell out of the damage. So yeah, you guys can see 40 bill here. We're about to die. But 40 bill a piece. Uh, we only needed 60 bill damage total. And we ended up walking out with almost 150 billion. Almost, not almost 150, almost 200 billion damage. So let's go to the lobby and see the spoils of our efforts to see exactly how effective my damage grinding setup was. Uh, yeah, I know it worked and I know that uh, I got what I wanted, but I just want to show you guys the efforts are the fruits of our labor. So you guys can see how effective this is for if you go to like grind out the units that you need for this. So you guys can grind out stuff yourself because people always be wondering, Valk, how are you grinding this so fast? Uh, it's because I have the good stuff. I have the team. So I needed 60 billion damage and I got a little bit more than, you know, I needed. So, yep, yeah, that's basically the video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.